Hi everyone, I wanted to show you some footage of Rick from uh, when he was little and obviously compare it to now to see how he's doing. Now, Rick is approximately, let me think, three years old. I worked out the other day. This is the original footage I had of Rick and Morty, um, the original Rick and Morty, because um, Morty has since passed away and then obviously I've now got new Morty. Um, Rick I believe is the one that's closest to the screen, the, the one that's like facing us on his cucumber by the water bowl. Um, if not it's the other one but I'm sure it's the one that's facing us. And I had him in, I had them both in 2018 so I had, so Rick I've had since 2018 um, and when I got them they were about a year old maybe roughly about a year old to be this size um so he's approximately three um i thought he was a bit older than that but it turns out no he's about three and obviously i wanted to have a look at the old footage of him see the size and sort of compare how he's getting on and give you a bit of a life update on rick so if you look at the one facing side on you can see the size they were when i got them um, so they were a decent size. Um, they were big enough, like the shell would fill like the width of three of my fingers um, to give you a rough idea. So probably about, I don't know, five, six centimetre shells, something like that, approximately. And they were, you know, nice full shells, um, no signs of parasites or diseases or anything. And... They were doing very well and ate quite well. Here they've got some cucumber because that's my little trick to get them out when I want to film them is give them some cucumber as a treat because it always guarantees they come out. Um, but don't feed them cucumber often. I just give mine cucumber once a week, especially in the summer, just as like a sort of extra water boost because it's got very limited nutrition. It's basically just water for them, but they absolutely adore it. If you give your, your snails cucumber every day, it's like giving your, your kids chocolate every day. They're going to eat the chocolate and they're not going to eat all the vegetables and stuff that they're supposed to eat. Then this is some footage from uh, 2018 as well, um, a bit later on. And this is when I'd still got my original two huge African land snails. They were really big. Like each shell was about... about 10 or so centimeters in length and they they were quite heavy the two big snails and they were some rescues um and here's rick at the front and i actually said on this video here's rick so this is rick when he was little two years ago here yeah. um so this footage is from uh, a bit later in the year and then this is him now this is the size of his foot a picture i managed to take the other day and to give you an idea of his size this is the size of his foot compared to my hand so as you can see he has grown substantially and he's doing very well this is some sped up footage of him from the other week eating some snail porridge which is a mixture of oats mealworms and fish flakes and I am going to work on some of the recipes, as I said in the video that I was talking about making snail mix. Um, and as you can see, he's fine. There's a little sort of line on his shell there that you can see. And that's where the very edge of it broke off at one point. He, I don't know where he did it, but the one morning I could see it was like a bit broke off. But as you can see, because it was right on the edge of where the snail, grow, the snail shell grows, all it's done is just left a little bit of a line in the shell, but the rest of the shell has grown really well since. Um, he's nice and heavy, nice and plump, um, so I'm not worried about him now. He did go through a phase where he kept hiding in his shell, he stopped eating, um, and all the tank parameters were fine. You know, the, there was a right, the, all the sort of things were set up in the tank right, the temperature was spot on, um, but like I said before, he came, him him and the original Morty were obviously genetically inferior, I think, because Morty only survived for about a year after I had him. He died at three, um, whereas obviously Rick's still going. He's like three and a half, 
roughly now. Um, and that he, they both had deep retraction syndrome, even though they were still being fed all the same foods I feed them now. Like they've had a, like a wide range of foods, many different vegetables, and I make sure they get the 25% protein and you know all of that. But thankfully, after that bit of a blip, he is showing really good signs of growth and he's doing very well. And I can happily report that um, he's definitely not got deep retraction syndrome now. He is filling up his shell really nicely and he's quite an active snail. Um, he's always the first one out first thing in the morning and he's always the first one out first thing in the evening. Um, he is from the species Acatina fulica and they tend to feed dawn and dusk. And Rick certainly does. I mean, Rick quite often comes out in the day to eat as well. Um, so he tends to eat around three periods of the day. So he'll come out like crack a dawn first thing in the morning before sun, sunrise. Rick will be out eating. Uh, later in the evening, he'll be out again. And quite often he'll come out at about sort of two in the afternoon and have a bit of a nibble as well and then go back to bed. So he's quite an active um, snail and absolutely adores his food. And he's always my sort of go-to snail when I want to test out um, new snail recipes or new foods because basically if he doesn't like it, no one else will. Um, he can be picky, but I've found as time's gone on, he's, he has improved and he's more willing to try different foods. I mean, this is the first time he's tried this particular snail mix. I've done snail mix before for him. Um, but this is this one with the mealworms in is the first time he's tried it and I knew he loved fish flakes and things anyway um, so yeah I'm really pleased he's doing very well so that's a little Rick update and I'll do an update on the babies in a separate video but yeah I thought I would show you he's getting along really really well and he's doing great um, hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye for now